Welcome to a new In The Mail, the series that will touch both your passion for electronics and your bank account at the same time and more of the bank account in recent times. I have some news regarding the import of our packages from AliExpress into the EU. As you may have noticed, AliExpress started collecting VAT according to the new IOSS system. And you would expect that an EU member country would have the system in place to process these packages according to the system that they designed, they asked for, they created. So yeah, you would expect they, they would have the system ready. But it's a complete shit show over here. There is a double taxation happening. The postal company here in Romania slaps a 1.6 euro fee for processing each package and also collects VAT according to the value declared by the sender on the package. And even though you already paid VAT because AliExpress collected that and you can prove you paid it with the invoice that AliExpress provides, they still collect it. And when asked why we have to pay the VAT twice, the postal service said they have the system in place to process these packages coming through the IOSS system automatically and avoid double taxation but the customs authority doesn't have its system ready, hence the issue of double taxation. And you can guess what the customs authority said when I asked them why we are being taxed twice. They said it's all good, we shouldn't be taxed, uh, the problem is with the postal service because tax has been collected already and yet the postal service is not releasing the packages until uh, another round of VAT is being paid. And this second round of VAT is of course wrongly uh, calculated because it uses the value declared by the sender and not the actual paid value. And it seems that right now the only way to avoid double taxation is if you do the import papers yourself or if you use a third party company that offers those services but their fees start at about 50 euros per import and the forms aren't exactly easy to do so yeah cheapest option right now is to just pay the postal service fees and get the packages even though uh, there is a double taxation happening i'll share some more info once i have it but right now at least here in romania it's as bad as it can be and the authorities don't seem to have a solution to this but enough ranting let's get on with the items i received and I'm going to start with these small tripod mounts and uh, these are some uh, desktop uh, type tripod mounts with the uh, standard screw attachment. And I ordered a couple of uh, models here just to check out their quality and how stable they feel. I do have a project in mind and I would prefer if uh, I would not share the full details until I get the chance to build it. But feel free to share in the comments if you think you know what I have in mind. This will be a tool that I will keep on my workbench and uh, I need to use one of these tripod mounts. Plus uh, maybe some of these uh, attachments. I also ordered a, a few of these. Like this one is uh, with a ball adjustment. This is one of those standard GoPro mounts and uh, a similar adapter and a couple of these thumb screw adjustment screws. And like I mentioned before, it's much easier for me to find and order this stuff from AliExpress than it is to find locally, especially when they hit you with a minimum order of, I don't know, like a hundred pieces if you try to order something like this locally. Next up, I received these uh, PCBs from PCBWay.com and I'll take this opportunity to introduce the sponsor of this video. They are the official provider of printed circuit boards for the Vollog channel. And this time I went with their panelizing service I just filled in the info to let them know that I want a 3x2 panel and they handle everything. Quality is superb as usual. These boards are used for my CAN light project and uh, the, actually the product is already out of stock on, on my Tindy store and the biggest issue is of course uh, parts shortages. I can't get the parts to build more of these and uh, people keep signing up to my waitlist on Tindy but unfortunately I can't build more of these right now. I'm probably gonna have to redesign some stuff on this board. Uh, the ESP32 is available uh, but I, I'm having trouble finding the automotive high side switches uh, or the automotive DC to DC controller chip. Next up I have a bunch of small DC powered pumps and this is for another project I have in mind because I do get all sorts of ideas about stuff that I could build or stuff that seems fun to build. 
uh, you know, those projects that uh, even though you work on them until late in the night, you actually feel uh, relaxed when working on them. Unfortunately, I don't always have the time to see all of these projects finalized, but I keep trying and eventually they will see the light. This is a small peristatic uh, pump, but it's uh, missing the motor, so I believe uh, it came as a kit with this motor and it's supposed to be uh, attached and work as a peristaltic pump. I also ordered a few other models and sizes and these ones have the motors attached. I'm not sure if these are also peristaltic or a different working principle. For example, this one doesn't really have any ratings printed on the motor. So I'm not really sure if this is a 6 volt or a 12 volt DC motor. So I'll have to check the AliExpress listing uh, before powering these guys up. Uh, this one does have the rating. It's a 12 volt uh, DC motor. Um, this one, once again, no ratings, so I'll have to check the AliExpress listing and maybe put a sticker on this just so I know uh, the correct voltage to power these. This one, for example, looks to be like a, a, a bigger pump, a more powerful one. It also comes with these uh, vibration or shock rubber mounts. Uh, and this would be cool for a project that would need pumping uh, more liquid. I think I'm gonna stick with one of the smaller pumps that I have for my project because I only need to move small quantities of liquid. I also got this little guy which is a water flow sensor and I wonder if this is resistant to aggressive chemicals and it's not that I need it but I just wonder. Probably not judging by the two dollar or so that I paid for it but you know you wonder what its limits are. This has a uh, three pin connector and uh, you have 5 volt power, ground and sensor output, it uses uh, a whole sensor inside and you have a figure of 8892 pulses per liter. So you would need to count those pulses with a microcontroller. Uh, it, would be, it would be interesting to do a video on this sensor and check its accuracy against a measured liter of water. But let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do such a video. My next item is a small one-way breather valve for motorcycle, maybe for fuel tanks, I'm not really sure, but I believe this is somehow used on the fuel tank. Um, if you know more about this, I never owned a motorcycle. I would assume that to make it easy for the fuel pump to extract fuel uh, from the reservoir, there needs to be a breather valve to let air in. But the reason I purchased this was because I wanted to experiment with a way of having a waterproof enclosure with an O-ring sealed from the outside, but with one of these breather valves that would let the pre pressure equalize or let the moisture escape. And you would see something like this on the enclosures of, uh, I don't know, an ECU, for example. This is uh, an automotive ECU that I took apart some time ago and it has one of these breather valves well it has a professional one an automotive grade one and I was kind of trying to mimic that with a low cost approach by purchasing this uh, uh, breather, breather valve this is probably not going to replace a proper valve because this one just has a like a very uh, big hole in here where even I believe even liquids could go through. So I don't think this will be fit for the purpose, uh, but I'll probably have to order one of these uh, more expensive valves if I want ever want to achieve uh, similar results. Next up, I ordered a couple of uh, these Sonoff Zigbee based temperature and humidity sensors. And I quite like these because they're very small. They use a coin cell and the battery lasts forever. And um, I plan to integrate more of these into my home assistant home automation project, uh, which runs on a Raspberry Pi. And uh, I just needed more to spread one in each room of my apartment so I can keep track of the ambient temperature in um, all of the rooms and kind of look at the graphs. You know what nerds do. They look at, uh, they collect data and they look at graphs. Next up, uh, some wiring items. I got another one of these flat Ethernet patch cord uh, cables. These are easy to run through the roof tiling in my lab and I'll see if I can overlay an image, but you get the idea, they're flat. I can just run them in the ceiling and drop down beneath the roof tiles. Don't ask me about the performance of these flat patch cords. They do say CAT6. All I can say is that I run a one gig network with basic network switching gear. so. I never really reached the full potential anyway. 
uh, I don't think these cables are limiting me but if you would like to run your network at higher speeds you're probably not getting your uh, Ethernet cabling from Aliexpress for me it's all good it's probably more than I ever need next up these are the well-known JST SH 6-pin cables you've seen these plenty of times on the channel I use these with my Volink USB to serial adapters and pretty much all of the boards I design feature this type of connection these get included with the Volink modules purchased on my Tindy store so I constantly order these and I got some some of these uh, uh, JTAG 1.27 millimeter pitch let me just get them out of the bag so I can give you a clear shot of these these are surface mount uh, JTAG connections but in the 1.27 millimeter pin pitch I just can't find these with the local distributors or even with like uh, Mauser or DigiKey I can't easily find these and I use these on the STN32 boards that I design either for personal use or for my clients as, pa as part of my consulting business as I often uh, build prototypes for my clients next up this is some RG402 coaxial cable and this is the type with a blue jacket it looks pretty cool and I plan to use this to build some DIY antennas for my RC planes which is a hobby that I miss so much I've been very busy in the past couple of months and I haven't been able to go out and fly these RC planes uh, but it's too hot these days anyway it's it's, it's a heat wave uh, and we've had this uh, for the past few weeks it's it's terrible weather the best time for flying at least for me it's in the autumn and spring and the weather is nicer during those times uh, when you have to be out in the field as usual a link for all of these items will be provided in the description below the video in this package I have a bunch of these uh, 10k NTC thermistors but they're packaged in this uh, small tube like metal uh, enclosure with a screw attachment so this can help a lot if you plan to attach these to something like a heatsink or whatever you are trying to measure and of course they should be waterproof you can see some sealing epoxy in there uh, but take that with a grain of salt as the quality of the ones sourced from Aliexpress can vary a lot between batches and sellers however for prototyping purposes uh, these will work just fine and like I said the advantage is that they do have this uh, um, attachment loop I hole uh, so you can easily attach this to something instead of trying to improvise and also in the uh, temperature sensor department I got these uh, very uh, light and thin 10k uh, thermistors let me just get them out of the bag as you can see these are much smaller they have these very thin enameled copper wires for connections and you would basically use these in uh, places where space is limited and you would attach them using some thermally conductive adhesives like the ones I showed in previous mailbag videos from Kfooter because I recently found myself needing one of these rubber grommets I just ordered an assortment of them um, the, there are different sizes in here and these can be very helpful to pass a cable through a hole in an enclosure it will create a seal around the cable and it can also help protect the cable insulation from the potential sharp edges of uh, the hole it was fairly inexpensive to order a full kit so I didn't bother to just order the required size because at some point I'm sure I'm going to need a different size so an assortment kit like, like this one is good to have I think I've mentioned this in the past and maybe I did such a video in the past maybe I don't remember uh, but I'll probably do another video at some point uh, like where I share all of my assortment kits because I do tend to collect assortment kits and the last item in today's mailbag is this set of two VFD tubes and I believe the part number on these guys is IV21 there are eight digits per tube they uh, light up sort of bluish but I don't have the required drive circuitry ready to show that off uh, maybe I'll overlay an image from the internet so you can get an idea but the plan is to build something with these maybe a clock maybe some sort of a counter I don't know but I wanted to build something with these uh, they look pretty cool so I ordered a couple I believe I ordered them from eBay and typically these will ship from Ukraine or Russia as there are large stocks of these available in those places 
uh, they were packaged very well with protection foam so they survived the journey just fine and they look like new old stock so they should have plenty of life in them i'll do a video for sure when i get a chance to uh, you know design the drive circuit for these that was all for today thank you for watching this video as always you'll find links for all of these items into the description below the video and i appreciate the feedback in the comments below don't forget you can support the channel on patreon with as little as one dollar per month or you can simply hit that like button which is free and helps a lot i'll see you next week oh and i almost forgot i'll add a playlist on screen right here which will contain all of my previous mailbag videos there are over 100 videos in that playlist check it out and i'll see you next time